Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for a pretty interesting video. So today, we are talking about something a little bit different. We are talking about the fifth card problem on Magic Arena, which for me is one of the things I think needs to be fixed fastest for Arena to really be successful. And I want to do a video on this topic because it's something that I've talked about a lot on social media. I've talked about on the stream in various places. And while some people know what I'm talking about, I get a lot of like, I don't understand what is the fifth card problem. So today we're going to have a real live example of the fifth card problem on Magic Arena. So to set the stage for this, if you're brand new to arena there's a couple things you got to understand to really understand the fifth card problem and then we'll get to the example so number one on magic arena you can only own four of a card you are not able to have more than four of a card in your collection right now we're looking at my mythics from guilds of ravnica as you can see i have four chance for glories only two under realm liches two veraska golgari queens so i have many four ofs uh, but not all of them. And some of them are cards you could use. Like, there are decks that play four Nullhide Feroxes. That is a card you could use. Definitely decks that could play four Veroska Golgari Queens, Under Elm Lich, eh, maybe. But I am missing some Mythics. So, you can only own four of a card. The other thing that's important to know is the only way to get cards is to open packs. Or, you, you do earn some as rewards for playing. But cards primarily come from packs. So, let's say I need two more Veroskas. To get those Veroskas, unless I just randomly get one as a reward, for playing, which is pretty rare with higher rarity cards, I need to open packs and hope that I open Veraska or that I open wild cards, which you can then trade for any card of that rarity that you want. So the other thing to know about all this is what happens to the fifth copies of the card. So let's say I already have four chance of glories. I open a pack of guilds of Ravnica. I get a chance for glory. What arena does with these cards right now is puts them into the vault. So the vault is where your fifth copies go. When you open a copy that's extra that can't go into your, your collection and at the end result when your vault gets to 100% you get a mythic wild card two rare wild cards three uncommon wild cards which is nice getting those wild cards is nice the problem is the rate is incredibly slow so I open a chance for glory that is going to fill my vault 1.1% so I got open 90 extra mythics to fill my vault one time and my payout is one mythic rare wild card two rare wild cards three uncommon wild cards so that kind of sets the stage for what we're talking about. That is the fifth copy problem, that your extra cards don't go into your collection. Instead, they go into the vault, and they go into the vault at a very slow rate. So the other thing you need to understand for this example is right now, I've probably opened I would say roughly 200 packs of Guilds of Ravnica between ones I bought when we first went to open beta, ones I've won from rewards. So that's roughly six booster boxes, let's say, I've opened of Guilds of Ravnica on Arena. So to compare this to paper, I've opened six booster boxes. So the problem is I don't have all the cards I need. Uh, let's say I want to build a deck that has four Underrealm Liches and four Veraska Golgari Queens, which isn't impossible. I could imagine a deck like that existing. The reason I want to use this example, actually, is the other day on stream, we were building a deck I only had one dream eater I needed four dream eaters for a deck we were building on stream so I had to open a bunch of packs to try to get them and that experience is what kind of motivated me to make this video so let's say I need these two Vraskas I need these two Wonder Realm Liches to play a deck that we're going to do videos on for me to get those what I have to do is buy packs and hope that I open them or hope that I open wild cards that then I can trade in for them so let's say I buy another booster box of Guilds of Ravnica let's Go to the store, buy some packs. So let's buy another booster boxes worth. So, uh, yes, 15 packs, 15 packs. And the reason I want to do this in booster boxes is because I think it makes more sense this way to paper players. Because paper players are used to buying booster boxes. So you've already opened a case of Guilds of Ravnica, six booster boxes worth. You buy another box because you love the set or there's some cards you want or for whatever reason, and you open those. So let's see what happens on Magic Arena when we open this box of Guilds of Ravnica. The important thing to know here is we're looking for Veraskas and Under Realm Liches. Those are the cards we need to be able to build the deck that we want. Also, our vault is at 153.4%, which is also relevant. So we're going to see what happens to this vault as we open this booster box of Guilds of Ravnica. Finally, uh, the other thing is packs are cheaper on Magic Arena. We got these packs for a dollar a piece, let's say, which it varies a little bit based on how many gems you buy, but that's the cheapest price is a dollar a pack. So we spent $36 of 
real American money on these booster packs, and let's see what we get for that $36 investment. So let's crack these packs. Pack number one, we gotta do it one at a time. So Assassin's Trophy. Uh, also, I guess it's worth noting our wild cards. One thing as we're opening these packs, if it's a card that we don't already have four of, it will be reverse so we see the backside and have to click on it so if the cards just come up face up like this assassin's trophy it means we already had four copies of it which means it went towards vault progress and we did not get it in our collection uh, also as far as wild card count uh, not going to worry about commons and uncommons. We have a million of those. 44 rare and one mythic. I think it's worth tracking that as well. So let's keep cracking these packs. See how many new cards we actually get. All right, camaraderie. That's an old card. We already have four of them. Vault progress. Uh, next up, we get Bees Whisper. Four of them. Vault progress. So, so far, we have not opened any Temple Garden, place out of those, Vault progress. So we did fill our mythic wild card uh, wheel, which is nice. Next up, we get Pelt Collector, four of them, Vault Progress. Next on our list, we got Guild Mages for them, four of them, Vault Progress. Drown Secrets, four of them, a little bit more Vault Progress. Uh, Assure Assemble, four of them, goes into the Vault. So, so far we have not opened a single new rare. We're not paying attention to the lower rarity stuff. I'm sure we already have a place with the, oh, two Knight of Autumns in a row. That would be great if we were cracking this booster box in paper. Knight of Autumn is one of the chase rares, but instead it is uh, going into our vault. Niv Mizzet, love that card, but already got four of them. Magic Arena will uh, we'll take it, throw it into the vault. Oh my goodness, it's a new card. What did we get? Something we did not already own, is it? All right, so we got a Veraska. We got one Veraska. That is one of the cards we were hoping to open. So that goes towards our deck. We are able to play three Veraskas in our deck now because we already had to... Uh, another Guild Mages for him. Into the vault with you. <laughs> uh, so Overgrow Tube, into the vault. Thank you very much. Uh, next up, we get Narc Amoeba. Why is that even a rare? <laughs> I guess for limited purposes. Demir's already really good. Doom Whisperer. Oh, the most expensive paper card in the set. Gets us 1.1% of Vault Progress. 90 more of those, and we get a we get a wild card or two. <laughs> Bounty of the Might, we already own them. Uh, Response Resurgence. Okay, already own them. So we're about halfway through. Ooh, a new card. It is a Light of the Legion. All right, that's not bad. I mean, at least that's a card that goes into our collection and not into the vault. It's not a card we'll probably ever play, but Steam Vents, extra copy. Yeah, unfortunate. Next up, we get, ooh, another new card. It is a rare wild card. All right, not bad. We'll take it. So we're more than halfway through our booster box now. Blood Operative... We are slowly earning uh, wild cards from this wild card track as well. We get Mythic Wild Card. All right. Not bad. So are we actually going to get... Uh, all right. Chamber Sentry. We won four of them. Let's see if we can finish these off. I, I think at this point you could get the picture. Like, everything's going into the vault. We're getting vault progress. So far we've opened two cards that I didn't already have in my collection, so everything's going into the vault. The other thing that's worth noting is, you might be thinking, oh Seth, you're stupid. Why would you spend money on these packs when you already have so many cards from that? And apart from saying, I need those few specific cards. I need those Veraskas to play a deck for the videos. I need those Underworld Liches to play a card for the videos. Also worth mentioning that you get the packs as prizes, and the prize packs are primarily Gills of Ravnica packs. So I'm getting these packs even if I don't buy them. When I pay for a constructed event and do well and get prizes, when I play a Gills of Ravnica draft and get prizes, I'm getting these packs. You can't trade them. You just got to open them. So even, all right, Vivid Revival, that's a new card. Sweet. Uh, so even if you don't buy them, you are still being forced to open them. Ooh, what do we get here? Divine Visitation. All right, that was one of the mythics we were we were missing, which is good. Ooh, another new card. We get Hatchery Spider. All right, that's another new one. Connive Concoct. Already got the place out of those. Six more to go. Ooh, new card. Ionize. Well, that's not bad. Dawn of Hope. We already played a deck with four of those, so I know we got four of those. Uh, Legion War Boss. Another good card, but we have four of them. 
Uh, Risk Factor. Proving itself to be pretty good, but I already have four of them. We'll venerate it. Loxodon, token stable. Got to play set. And last pack, Arclight Phoenix, the other Chase Mythic from the set, but it goes in the vault. We got four of them. So let's piece this together now. We opened an entire booster box, trying to find our Veraskas, trying to find those Underrealm Liches. And what was the result? So first off, we got four rares that weren't in my collection. So we actually got four new rares, Ionize, uh, the random angel thing, Vivid Revival, and Hatchery Spider. So we got four random rares. We got two new mythics. We got one copy of Veraska, which we really wanted, one Divine Visitation. So out of our 36 packs, we got six cards added to our collection, uh, along with filling the wild card track here a few times. As far as Vault Progress, 36 packs got us from... 154.4 to 203.9 so we spent 36 dollars on those packs we got four new rares two new mythics and let's say half of a vault we got 50 percent of the ball roughly rounding it up a little bit as far as wild cards we got three mythics because we started at one and we got five rares so from that booster box we got basically exactly what we needed to finish out the deck. We got lucky and opened one Veraska. We can spend the three Mythic Wild cards we got to get the other Veraskas and the Underrealm Liches. So we have four. So basically, we spent $36 and kind of just exactly got what we wanted. The other thing is, you saw as we were opening those packs, we opened Doom Whispers. We opened Arclight Phoenixes. And to bring this back around to paper, yes, maybe you already have a complete playset of everything in paper, but you're never sad to open another Doom Whisper or an Arclight Phoenix because there are cards that are $25, $20, and you can trade those cards or sell those cards and get the cards that you do need. I opened a Doom Whisper. Awesome. That's great. It's the most valuable card in the set. I will trade you that for two Veraskas. I got the Veraskas I needed. Everyone is happy. But instead, for our booster box investment, just to put this all in perspective, what did we get for opening this booster box? And the answer is we got Four new rares and two new mythics, so roughly uh, one-sixth of our packs can actually contained a card that went into our collection. The rest went to our vault, and for 36 packs, we didn't even fill the vault. We got half of the vault filled, and that is with every common and uncommon and like 80% of the rares and mythics going directly into the vault. So if you want to fill the vault a single time with a completely full collection, you're going to have to spend 70-ish dollars, and then you get one mythic rare wild card two rare wild cards and three uncommons. That means you're spending, let's say, like $30 on the Mythic Rare wild card. You're spending $15 a piece on the two rare wild cards and then spending $5 a piece on the uncommon wild cards. That's absurdly expensive. That is insanely expensive, even compared to paper prices. I could just buy the most expensive Mythic from Guild of Ravnica for less than it cost me to open the vault and get that Mythic wild card to craft for it. So that is the fifth card problem. The TLDR is you're basically losing epic amounts of value and you just saw me spend $36 on an entire booster pack and my reward was uh, a few wild cards which are nice three mythics five rare wild cards not gonna complain about those still three mythic wild cards for $36 and five rares that's still pretty expensive and we got f six new cards in our collection out of 36 packs so I'm really hoping that Wizards fixes this they've talked about various ways of fixing it they've talked about making it so you just can't open fifth copies i would love that solution but for right now it's become prohibitively expensive for me to build decks on magic arena because we get in that exact same position that we were just talking about that position where we need one specific card we need these two low hide fair oxes we opened 36 packs we didn't get any of them we can trade our two mythic wild cards for them and then we spent like $15 a piece almost, $10 a piece to get these last two cards. That's pretty expensive for a program that you can't trade the cards and you can't actually get any value out of your cards when you could buy this card for i don't know the dream eaters we spent like 10 or 15 dollars a piece cracking packs to get the wild cards for them when on magic online you could buy them for 50 cents so uh the bottom line is wizards really needs to step up and fix this right now it mostly impacts people like me i need all these cards for building decks for content for playing on stream so i pretty much need all the cards i'm not gonna not play a null hide ferox deck because i don't have the two wild 
wild cards and not do a video about it. That would be silly, so I just have to spend the money on it. But as we keep going forward, more and more free-to-play players are going to get here, just from earning packs, from drafting, or people that just spend a little bit of money. You're going to get to this point, too, because remember, these cards last in your collection a long time, and that doesn't even consider rotation and what happens at rotation. So... All of this to say, if it wasn't for content, I would have a very hard time justifying spending money on Arena with my current collection and with the current state of the fifth card problem. So Wizards recently said it's on their list, but it was behind several to many other things as far as their priorities. But this really needs to get fixed because as far as I could tell, spending $36 for an entire booster box of packs and coming away with a handful of wild cards six new cards in my collection and half of a vault, that's pretty unacceptable. I feel like 75% of the packs we open just gave us literal zero value. We we're like, here, wizards, take our dollar. We get absolutely nothing in return. And that doesn't really feel fair for wizards to keep taking my money for the booster packs and give me booster packs that literally just give me nothing. They're giving me nothing for the money that I'm giving them. So anyway, that's a fifth card issue. Wizards, please fix it. I would love to be able to keep building decks and spending money on Arena, but this is really getting a little bit ridiculous. So anyway, that's a fifth card issue. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully the comparison to the paper world and this live example of the opening and where the value is going, hopefully that drives home what this is all about. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will talk to you soon. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.